All of you watching here, come close to the screen and listen. People don't have to like you. People don't have to love you. They don't even have to respect you. But when you look in the mirror, you better love what you see. You better love what you see. What is up, my pink ladies? And welcome to On Wednesdays We Were Pink. Ooh. Y'all, this is so crazy that just happened because this is like my fourth time fucking recording. But anyways, our drink of the day is an apple cocktail, quote unquote. I wanted to make an apple martini, but I forgot the apple liqueur for today. So today we just have a little apple cocktail with apple juice. Um, what else? Uh, simple syrup, uh, two shots of vodka, and I mixed it in a shaker with ice. And yeah, we are trying to give sleepover vibes today. That's why we have on our pink PJs and these clips on our hair. So please do not judge, okay? <laughs> and I got me a blanket too because it's a little chilly in here. My is sleeping, so. I gotta keep it cold because my girl be warmed up but um yes welcome again on Wednesday we were pink and I want to go ahead and apologize for my voice because I know I sound like who did it what and why but I've been working and for some reason the music has been extra loud at work so I've been having to like holler and scream at people because they act like they're fucking deaf so yeah we are fighting demons here in my throat for some reason oh lord that sounded bad y'all <laughs> but it just don't Oh, my my voice anyway but i hope you ladies are doing well i am sorry for my mom cast girls even though today's not about mom stuff but i do want to apologize i was off for like damn near two weeks but it's been a lot going on as far as school is concerned and i know my started daycare but it's been trying to keep like hard trying to keep up because once i drop her off in the morning i go with my daily schedule i go to the gym then i get some work done until i go pick her up by the time i pick her up uh we come home she's running around and shit so it's hard to try to get shit done and y'all don't have to film when she's sleeping like now um and so it's like by the time she go to sleep i'm getting tired because i'm starting to have like more of a full day i'm starting to go to the gym you know a lot more going on so we're gonna see uh, i'm most definitely gonna st uh, try to stay on top of it for you ladies for sure because i'll be missing y'all um but yeah let's go ahead and deep dive we're gonna dip our toe into the topic of the day if y'all haven't already seen by the title in the description baby we are gonna be talking about dating and that's also why i want to give sleepover vibes today because you know that's constantly something that we talk about but i, I kind of didn't want to be as serious you know do this and do that da, 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 da. like i just wanted to flow you know so i wanted to go ahead and talk about you know the first stepping stones to dating is really uh that period of space by yourself you know because y'all know i'm very big on self-love self-care i know y'all tired of hearing it but it is very important and on literally almost as in any aspect of your life and dating is most definitely in that uh, top five list of your self-care journey and why it is so important. Because how can you expect somebody to love you or date you if you don't really even know who the fuck you are? That's crazy to have such expectations for somebody else and you don't have those expectations for yourself. Like, nah, clock it and catch it, baby. Try it again. <laughs> um, so I want to suggest that before you, or if you are still in your dating journey and you feel like it's not going well, I say take some time to yourself to really learn yourself, to learn what you like and what you don't like, what your insecurities are, what you, you know, look for in yourself because that makes you more available and receptive to accepting people during your dating experience and experiences because it's important when you're dating you're dating random folks like you don't know who these people are so imagine that you are a stranger to yourself and you're dating a stranger like that is that's crazy and they get to trying to you know learn you in they pick it up on habits and shit and you starting to feel some type of way but yet it's kind of your fault because you don't even know who the fuck you are like don't ever let anybody into your space without knowing yourself because you number one okay so First things first, let's go ahead and take that space and that time alone on my vision board for the new year. I, um, this is great, but I, 
yeah, I, I always do vision boards, but this year I did a little different. All the pictures that I had had a little, like, a little more meaning to them. And on the back of each of my pictures, I wrote, like, a paragraph, like, you know, to see how I'm going to fulfill it this year. And uh, one of those, uh, one thing on my vision board was dating, an idea about dating. And this year, it wasn't my intention. Well, I think, actually, I'm lying to y'all. I was trying to remember what. No, I did have like a like a dating thing on there, but I um the more as I embarked on, you know, my dating journey this year, I felt like I literally need to spend like needed to spend more time with myself because I wasn't really sure what I liked with liked in people. Like I wasn't sure. So I did a lot more digging and, you know, making my list of what I like about myself and what I don't like what I, about myself and what I don't want to change. Because dating people do have the tendency of going into it like, oh, I'm gonna change her to what I want. It's like, nah, no, you stepping into my world, so you need to come and accept me for who the fuck I am and that's who that is what's up what's up but you can't have that energy if you don't know who you are that's crazy so do that internal work do that self work before you even try to start dealing with other people because in the long run it's not going to be beneficial for anybody you're going to get hurt they're going to be wasting their time you're going to be wasting your time so just get yourself together and make sure you really love and you secure about yourself before you start giving your energy to other people because it, it don't be worth it uh, And I know we have a lot Like to think about and decompress When it comes down to dating Because our society, our generation today We really don't talk about The real meaning and purpose of dating Because of Unrealistic ex expectations For whatever reason But I say make sure you have your ducks in a row Before you start dealing with people um, and that goes into, you know, having your own list as far as red flags and green flags, because that is one of the biggest things right there um, that I did not have yet. Because like I tell you, I made them one times I really didn't have that experience of dating when I was growing up because I always dedicated like my time and gave my energy to one person that I was dealing with. So it wasn't like I was getting a variety, like a variety of energies around me, like I wasn't dealing with multiple men at one time to see like, oh, this is what I like, this is what I like, this is what I don't like, da 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 da. Which is why I highly recommend that you date more than one person at one time if that's what you are willing to do. Like I know some people are dating for longevity. We're going to get into that though. But if you're dating for the experiences, for the fun, date date more than one okay ain't nobody shaming you baby because how can you come up with that list of green flags red flags beige flags if you are not experiencing those people <laughs> like you can't create that list off of one person because they're only showing you one aspect you know so get out there and experience these people but also move safely and move with caution because it's just stop having these unrealistic ideas about what dating is supposed to be like because it's not going to get you anywhere at the fuck all it's really not so as i mentioned most definitely have the list ready of which you're willing to put up with and which you're not going to put up with as far as dating is concerned and make sure you understand why you're dating now that is one of the biggest things i really don't hear people talk about is understanding what's your what's your point what's your what's your end goal when it comes down to dating like um i'm gonna be transparent with y'all right now as far as dating i'm not i'm dating for fun dating for the experiences dating for building my green flags red flags base flag, flags list like that's my purpose because i really actually don't even have time for a genuine relationship with somebody a man boyfriend because i have too much going on i have a, a daughter and also like now i'm not dating for myself i'm dating for her but Oh, I forgot to give you a disclaimer. Like, we're not going to be talking about dating in relation to being a mom today. We're just going to be dating, you know, talking about dating as far as womanhood is concerned. But I'm not dating for myself. I'm dating for my daughter. Then I also have to manage school. I also have to manage um, my business or pending businesses. I have to manage my podcast. Like, I just don't have it in me to fit into a relationship, like, fit a relationship into my schedule right now because I value relationships so fucking much like relationships are very important important to me so when i you know give somebody the title of my boyfriend like i'm gonna give him my all for sure so it's like i'm not in that space right now i'm right now i'm just having fun i'm dealing with people as as they come in and go um and i feel like that is another big thing that we have a problem with communicating in our so society today is letting people know the real thing i'm telling these well 
in the beginning, well, I can't say in the beginning. It was just this one person that I met uh, that I started dealing with in January. January, every once in a while, we'd be fucking around, but whatever. But with him, like, I just got caught up too easily. Like, I was like obsessed with him, whatever. But nowadays, uh, when I'm dealing with somebody, I'm letting them know, like, hey, like, I'm not trying to be serious with you like i'm here to experience what we have to experience you know but don't expect a relationship out of me because i'm not looking for that and i've already told god like hey i'm not ready for the person that i'm supposed to be with god i'm really not like i have you know you he god knows what's going on and if you're asking him to let me develop and build on myself you know to accept the person that I'm really supposed to be with, then I, I know he's going to do that. So the people that are coming to me now, I know you are not the person for me. So, of course, I'm not going to take this as serious as you would expect me to. I'm a loving person. You can never, just somebody you can never forget. I know. I, I know. Oh, so heartbreaking. But it's just I'm not in the space to receive you as I should. So, Establishing that boundary and that communication from the jump really should be on the forefront of your mind so you aren't wasting everybody's time. Because some men, even or if you're dating women, some women they just can't handle that kind of thing. So if you're showing somebody genuineness and they have never seen that a day in their life before, they're gonna take it and run with it. And if you're not establishing that, hey, I'm not really trying to fuck with you for real from the jump. Like, I'm just here having fun. From the jump, it's going to lead to longer issues and longer problems that you shouldn't even have to deal with if you would establish that boundary from the fucking start, okay? So that goes back to you understanding that everything is about you and how you have that, you know, that umph about you, that aura that they, that you're going, you know, this is what I'm bringing to the table for right now. So make sure you understand that's what that's for. And so back to talking about... um dating with the reason that you're dating for it you most definitely need to have that in the forefront in your, of your mind as well like what is your reason for dating are you dating for fun are you dating for longevity are you dating for benefits like you trying to just eat you trying to just get the gifts the attention the energy like what the fuck is it because if you don't have that reason you're gonna get lost you're gonna start attaching yourself to people for the wrong reasons or you start you're gonna start denying the wrong people people and it's just it's not gonna look pretty at the fuck all so make sure you establish that reason why you're dating and like I said you need to be securing yourself to accept everything for what it is because not everything is gonna be a relationship like as a woman trust me I fucking know I've been delusional hello we've been there we at least have that one person where we've been take running around like a dog chasing our motherfucking tails baby we've been all over the place for that person we've been there i'm here to tell you like you're not alone but now that you are going to take that self journey to fix it hey man okay you're going to be able to not let that happen again because just like okay i know that i'm doing this for fun so i know not to get so attached you know even though some like some men have them i can tell you all my time for it <laughs> that's so crazy that was so unintentional of me to say that but anyway i can't tell you. but time my time for it baby that shit was so fucking unexpected i was like what in a way but i can never it's okay we ain't going about that <laughs> all right i can never let that happen again because now i know like okay when i'm dealing with people i know not to get so attached and have those expectations or whatever whatever so most definitely have those line drawings for yourself so you aren't driving yourself dizzy and fucking crazy because it don't be worth that at the end of the day like especially if you're doing it for fun why are you trying to attach yourself to somebody that's for fun like this is a seasonal person you're gonna get yourself hurt in the long run trying to tie down a seasonal person for a fucking lifetime like hello sis tighten the fuck up like it's it's not that worth it is somebody out here that's really gonna fucking love you that's gonna make you feel like you're on top of the world that's gonna give you everything that you need that you want so stop chasing stop chasing stop chasing your motherfucking chat your fucking tail <laughs> shit i can't talk stop chasing your tail and just just experience life with what the fuck it is you know and stop taking everything so serious live like it's okay sometimes shit do be embarrassing because you do you know you end up falling for people but once they show you who they are that one motherfucking time you need to motherfucking accept that and stop being delusional and making stories up for what you want what you expect because that's as women we get lost like that a thousand and one times like 
constantly creating these fake scenarios and ideas about these men and these women when we know what we're seeing in front of us is they showing you who the fuck they are so why are you trying to paint a picture without the the right colors that's crazy you you trying to paint the american flag with red green and and orange that's insane stop doing that for real Okay, that's that's step number five to getting it right, <laughs> for real. But I'm not judging y'all. I'm just here to tell y'all, like, you know, we we all got to figure it out because sometimes the samples that we have on social media just isn't right. And that's another big thing I wanted to tap into is um, we have a big problem idolizing things on social media that we see. And uh, that's a big, big problem because you're only seeing one side of the camera. When the camera is cut off, what's going on and here you are saying oh this is what i want this is the relationship that i want but now your relationship are never going good because you're idolizing bullshit stop doing that yes the pictures are cute you can repost them but stop saying this is what i want because you are not understanding what's going on behind closed doors with these couples and these relationships and these quote-unquote situationships whatever the fuck you want to call it you don't know what's going on so you starting to manifest that energy that they're having, whatever they have going on behind cl behind closed doors, you're manifesting that into your life. And then now nothing is going to work out for you because you're manifesting bullshit. Have your own shit together. Have your own ideas together. Have your own fucking red flags, green flags, and page flags and, and attract what you deserve, okay? All right, I ain't trying to preach to y'all today, but I'm just trying to tell y'all. It, it be fun until it's not until we really starting to talk about these grown folk conversations it's just y'all are manifesting the wrong things and we old enough to understand like okay we over we put that shit in categories he's just for this she's just for that and move on with your life not everybody is meant to be your lover like it be fun it's fun i know i trust me y'all i fucking understand i have that person where it's just like i wish because the way that they make me feel is like oh nobody has ever made me feel like this before but it's not the feeling that really being in love is supposed to feel like you know being in love is supposed to make you feel calm y'all y'all don't oh my lord y'all don't understand how much i tell people this when you really know that you have found your person you are going to feel calm. You're not going to feel anxious and constantly worried. And, and it's never, it's not, it's, it's, it's a whole different feeling. Like it's, it's an indescribable feeling, honestly, but the best way I can put it is like finding your, your favorite song, right? Or that favorite outlet, that favorite genre of music that you find. And once you found that song, right? Imagine, let's, let's just backtrack. Imagine that you found your favorite song, right? And how you found it. Uh, I, I find a lot of my favorite songs, song surfing. Just randomly listening to music. It's just letting it play, letting it go by, albums play, songs I've never heard before. And it's that one song that you come across and it's just like, whoa, hold on. What the fuck is this? We got you grooving. And all of a sudden you're starting to build a relationship with this song, right? You're listening to this song when you're sad, when you're happy, to feel calm, to feel when you feel anxious, and when, when you're getting ready or when you're finna go to sleep. Like, even though I know sometimes it's different genres for everybody, but you know that one song that you can, is very universal that you you literally found as your safe space that's what i could compare being in love feels like is that you have that person that is just making you oh, smell the roses and literally not want to cut the stems off the roses like you shouldn't i don't think being in love is is somebody that's gonna make you feel nervous in a bad way that's gonna make you feel anxious in a bad way that's gonna constantly have your mind wondering you're gonna feel comfort you're, you're gonna feel safe you're gonna feel so wholesome it's almost like you at a flower field and you're just running through the wind that's what love is supposed to feel like it's not supposed to feel so so tight so balled up like you just scared like you no know, almost like a roller coaster Oh my gosh, Tank on the Bangas. Gonna put this video in the in the description, y'all. This is my favorite fucking video. I listen to this every time I lose myself. For real. Like I know that sounds crazy, but I go back and listen to this video. Uh it is a tiny desk a library. Tiny yeah, tiny that's a video they did. Uh and I skipped to like 14, 13 minutes and she starts to sing a song. It's called Roller Coasters. And in the song she's talking about love and how love is 
uh, synonymous to be a roller coaster. And you know how being a ro- on a roller coaster, like you just the feeling of constantly going up, not knowing to what, what to expect. And you're going down and you're feeling the butterflies and it's going crazy and it's insane. And like, I love it so much, y'all, because that's exactly what love it, it feels like. And honestly, I can say I haven't felt like that for real. Not counting my elementary school days, baby. I was so in love with <laughs> Baby, I was in love, but ever since then, I felt like it's just I was searching for something that I was missing in my life from other people, you know, in relationships. And I just, I don't know, I, I, I can't honestly say I've never been in love. I've been obsessed with people. I've been obsessed with feelings and emotions and and sex. Like, honestly, I'm being real with y'all. I want to be so transparent with y'all so y'all can really understand. Like, this, these these are things that we cling to, that we we feel safe with when the whole times it's not really what it is. Like, you need to understand this is what the fuck it is. Like, you are obsessed with somebody and you're, uh, you're chasing behind a feeling rather than actual love, genuineness, you know? So just be careful. Make sure you... Um, just doing that self digging, that internal work, because it's gonna get you a very long way. Being self aware and very mature about what you want and what you what you're looking for when it comes down to dealing with people, especially romantically, because it takes so much energy and so much time to deal with a relationship. Like I told y'all, it's, it, it it it's just so much. So when you're just dating randomly. Put in the effort, but not as much because these people are just here for temporary reasons, like to learn, to experience and stay with an open mind. Okay, please, I am begging, stop being so closed minded about everything and taking everything so literal. Like, because not everybody is also on the same level as you. And that also goes back to um, really pay attention to your fucking dating pool like what kind of people are you going after the kind of experiences that you're having like why is everything constantly the same maybe you need to change who you going after who you looking for honestly because somebody like me y'all i'm not gonna lie to you because if you know my track history you know my track history but i haven't had the best track history but it's not literally by it is by choice because i stayed with him but every person i've encountered like in my since my high school till now I literally did not know anything about them. I never knew where they came from. It's just like I crossed paths with these people. And then I start to find like everything, you know, after the fact. So now I'm fucking with these people. And I'm so locked in to the point where I don't, I can't even leave them alone. Like, I don't want y'all to ever get to that point. I want y'all to be so secure with yourself. It's like, damn, I don't care how locked in we are, how long we've been dealing with each other. Like, this not even worth my time because we are not on the same level. You know, like even when you're dating for fun, you're still sharing your energy with people. Share your energy with somebody that's on your level. Okay, stop stooping so low just because what they got money, they a Chipotle bag, they tatted it up, they could get they could give you opportunities. Like I feel like it's just not fucking worth it. It's not worth their energy because you're gonna get hurt in the long run. If we want to be real, if we want to be honest, you're gonna be you're gonna be the one hurt in the long run because guess what? You're gonna catch feelings. Mm-hmm. Hello, you're gonna start tripping now, and I'm not talking about the dance, okay? I'm, I'm talking about that tweaking. Yeah, yeah, I gonna start twitching, okay? You ain't gonna be able to sleep. It's gonna be the finger that thumb gonna get going to be scrolling, <laughs> okay? So you're gonna, it's, it's just gonna get crazy. So, it's just date on your level with people that you feel like you can reciprocate that energy with they're gonna understand where you're coming from gonna respect your decisions have the same mental capacity as you okay same education same level amen okay so they can understand so y'all can understand each other on a whole different aspect because that's very important for real because i've had dealings i've had dealings with somebody that is literally not on the same iq radar as me baby we on the whole different side and it's not fun it's not fun the energy to put in to make them understand what you got going on and it's just it don't be worth it for real so make sure you if you need to change your dating pool i say fucking do it and change it to the right motherfucking thing okay so now with that being said i want to go ahead we were talking about dating and um well before we do that i do want to uh, go back into the reasons why we date right and i do want to touch on sex yes because we like to sweep that under the rug a lot some of us tend to date around or deal with people just for sex but be careful 
I'm not judging. Do what you please, but also be careful because you are still exchanging energies with people. You're still putting your body and your 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 aura at risk because you're sharing with other people. And you just like dating, you're dating random people. Having sex with people is you're sharing your energy. Y'all sharing energy. You don't even know who they are. You don't know what kind of demons they fight in. So now if you're starting to, you know, your life is starting to go backwards and deteriorate and do circles and shit. And you're trying to wonder why this whole time that person you fucking. Okay, so just be careful. And if you are just like, oh, I want to date for it the sex be careful you're sharing your energy with still have sex with somebody that has equal value as you if y'all want to you know create that situation to where it's like that's all y'all just want to be beneficial to each other make sure that's established from the jump so you are not creating unnecessary scenarios in your head about whether or not you know okay now you're my boyfriend because we fucking oh hello you're wrong because that's not what you established from the front the forefront okay so just be careful when it comes down to sharing your body and your energy and it also goes into uh dating for out of boredom you know there's a difference between dating for fun and dating out of boredom okay you're just bored and i feel like um that's nothing wrong with that as well because it's like everybody needs attention we're human beings we are meant to interact with people and you know but make sure that internal work is done so that way you are not Having, again, unrealistic expectations for the, uh, for the people that you're dating because you're bored, you know? Because now it's like, you're, you're, you're bored. You're only entertaining me because you don't have anything else to do with yourself. The fuck? And now you're projecting all of these things onto them and it's starting to go left. And now you're ruining potential friendships with people because not saying that you can't even be friends with people you dated. Like, not everything has to be romantic. But yet, here you are not being so secure with yourself that you're outside ruining potential good friendships with people. Like, let's stop doing that and understand, like, okay, I'm bored. Let me know how to move when I'm fucking with people. Not everything. Don't take everything so motherfucking personal. And speaking of personal, let's go ahead and talk about dating while we are going through traumatic experiences. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. Handle your business first. Because you are going to dig a deeper hole for your fucking self. For, honestly, and I'm sorry to curse. I really wasn't supposed to be cursing this episode for real because I'm trying to cut it down. But stop it. When you are going through very traumatic experiences or you are trauma bonded to people, you need to work on yourself and stop worrying about dating people, having sex, because all you're doing is transferring that energy to other people and you are clinging to other people because now you're going to become trauma bonded to them because they're going to become a safe space for you and because you are not in a good space for yourself and here we are back at square one going through a revolving door in a bad cycle let's not do that okay no shame not shaming anybody but i say stop doing that because you're only hurting yourself once again in the very long one okay all right so what else can we talk about as far as dating um most definitely the big problem me and my friends have been having is standing on business like i told you tom ford from january that i have met still have been dealing with this man for whatever reason um but standing on business is like when people are putting you in compromising positions like you deserve so much more come on now even if you're just dating and you're having fun you should never ever keep giving your energy to somebody that has embarrassed you that has given you that has put you in embarrassing situations that put you in compromising positions that has has made you like just just had to change your whole self like to fit the room that they're in like no 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 even like i said if you're dating for fun dating for seriousness longevity whatever it is uh dealing with those kind of people you need to nip that in the bud because that's going to have a different type of respect level for you the type of people that you are attracting because if you're able to separate yourself from dealing with somebody that's like not respecting you okay you're gonna be able to attract the people that belong in your life that are gonna teach you valuable lessons not saying that it's not a valuable lesson actually not that i said it out loud because it is still teaching that you need to love yourself bitch okay sorry excuse those be words amen <laughs> but it's teaching you that you need to love yourself and respect yourself a little more to let somebody like that go and i'm saying it out loud to myself because baby i know better 
And I know sometimes we really do stuff for the plot. We do it for the plot. We do it for the fun. We make the excuse that we're young. And it's like, I'm young. I can do what I want. I'm going to have more than enough time. But at the end of the day, is your energy worth it? Because you know how you're feeling. You can sweep all that shit under the rug if you want to. But you know how you're feeling after the interaction. You know that you really like that man. Stop lying to yourself. You, 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 you telling yourself that you're in love with him. Okay? So just be careful how you're moving with those type of people. Because it's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt you in the very long run, okay? I don't know what's been going on with my camera. I think I have to get a new battery for that motherfucker. But, um, yeah, so we're going to end this today. This is just a part one. Part one. Next time, I'm most definitely going to have a, a guest. This is my first pink episode, Solo Dolo. But I do want to let y'all know that we we have a new uh, little part. It's called our pink up line. Basically, like a pickup line. But our pink up line, hope y'all caught that. <laughs> but yeah, we have a pink up line today. I really didn't put too much thought into it because I'm still trying to get in the works of what I wanted to, you know, how I wanted to go, how I wanted to flow. But our pink up line of the month, since we only get our pink episode once a month, is to make sure that you are standing on business before you try to stand on business with somebody else, okay? Because that is why you are not standing on business with other people because you don't have your shit to motherfucking get there. You're battling demons. You are. So you cannot stand on your own business, baby, because your, your legs are weak. They are weak, baby. So you're trying to sit down too much. With your own self, you letting too much shit slide. You letting too much water over the fucking well, okay? So, make sure that you have everything set in stone for yourself. So that way, when it comes down to dinner with these other people, you got them in check. Amen. Like check smiths. <laughs> but, I hope y'all enjoyed today's episode. I hope y'all learned something and gained something. But, we most definitely will be back with probably five parts as far as dating is concerned, y'all. Because, we... I had a lot of stuff I did not want to uh, point on today. So, y'all love y'all. See y'all next week. Bye. Mwah.